In order to draw and to paint accurately on the computer, you need a graphic tablet. These devices register the movement and the pressure you apply with a stylus on a dedicated flat surface. Be it a simple plate with sensors or a special type of computer display. These are the two types of graphic tablets you can find for desktop use. Display tablets are great for precise line work, as you get to draw directly on the screen. However, unless you can buy a big one with a mechanical arm rig, you end up hunched over it all day long, and it tends to put a lot of strain on your eyes. Not only that, I actually prefer to paint with simple, flat tablets. The reason is that on a screen tablet, your hand hides part of your canvas. And on a flat tablet, it doesn't, because the tablet is not your screen. To sum it up, if you are mostly painting, not doing too much line work, I recommend that you stick to basic tablets, which are also affordable. And if you've never used a tablet before, you should start with a cheap one as well, unless you're already a professional artist and you can afford an expensive piece of hardware. Here, I have both types of tablets. I have an Intuos 4 that sits on the desk and a 13-inch Cintiq HD, but I use the Intuos most of the time. These are tablets made by Wacom, a Japanese manufacturer. They make great products overall, and they offer very good support. Wacom is and has been the go-to brand of most of the industry for a long time. However, there are alternate brands nowadays that offer very good tablets at lower prices. The most recommendable one is Huion, a Chinese company. If you are getting started and you don't want to invest too much money in your hardware, check it out. I left links for you in the video description. Be sure to try out the piece of hardware you are buying and to send it back if it doesn't work for you or if you don't like it. A friend once had driver issues with a cheap tablet he bought. But everyone else I know who's working with a Huion quite likes it. Frenden, a comic book artist, makes detailed reviews of Wacom alternatives on his blog, which is really helpful. I invite you to check these out if you want to get to know products that you can buy that are cheaper than uh, the Japanese tablets. There are multiple options you can go for as far as your first tablet is concerned, but there's one thing that's really important, the size. Start with at least an A5 size drawing surface. That's roughly 10.5 times 15 centimeters. A6 tablets are too small to draw on comfortably. They force you to draw with the wrist, which is not really good. If you can afford it, buy an A4 tablet, like the Intuos 4 I have here. It will allow you to draw from your shoulder, thus to make more precise strokes than with the wrist motion. And you'll reduce the risk of tendinitis in the long run. I'm not going to tell you which tablets exactly you should buy in this video. Instead, I'm linking to a page in the video description. The reason is that new tablets come out every single year, and keeping the list separate from the video will allow me to update it in the future. Now, if you have a Wacom tablet, or if you are looking to buy one, head on to the next video where I'll show you my recommended parameters in the tablet driver for GameArt.